In today's tooltip, we'll look at building gable end walls. We'll create them in three different ways to suit your construction method of balloon framing, framing a gable end wall, or using a gable end truss. For our example model, in honor of the upcoming North American Mother's Day on Sunday, we're going to put a gable roof on top of a she shed built for moms. I'll select the roof by perimeter command to put a roof over the entire structure. Selecting a roof from the catalog, I simply left click in the middle of the room and the hip roof is formed. Now I will select one side of the overhang to select the roof. Arrows appear on each separate roof surface. The arrows control pitch, plate height, and style. I'm going to select the two arrows that I want to make into gables. With both arrows green, I right click and select properties. In the roof dialog box, I select the roof shape button and change the roof shape to gable. I now just click OK and the roof is now a gable roof running horizontally on our model. By selecting the 3D Perspective View camera, we can see the roof in 3D. Select View, Framing, Display Framing to strip away the finished materials and we can see the framing. We can see the gable end wall is balloon framing up to meet the underside of the gable roof. This is an automatic setting with the exterior walls. I'm now going to display the finished materials again. Select View, Framing, Display All But the Framing to bring the materials back. I select the front wall, right click and select Properties. In the Walls dialog box, I select the top and bottom tab. This tab deals with height, and we can see it is set to Auto Extend, meaning it will automatically extend up to meet the roof and change its shape to match the gable if we need it to. We're going to set the height of the wall to level instead. Give it a flush height of 8 foot 1 and an eighth, and then click OK. This now gives us a flat wall top, and we can see the gap at the top of the wall and the gable. It's wide open. Let's now form a gable end wall in that area. I put the model back into a 2D view and select the roof overhang over the gable end. With one green arrow, I right click and select properties. When a roof shape is converted to a gable, it gains a parameter display gable. Currently it's set to none. Display gable is an option to fill in the triangular gable area of a wall. With it set to none, there's nothing there. We assume the wall is set to auto extend to balloon frame that area. If I select None, a drop-down list appears. I can set it to None, Surface, or Wall. If I set it to Surface, a surface material is used to fill in that area. No framing is added. This is an excellent option if you have a gable and truss and just need the finished materials shown and calculated. The Appearance tab lists a component gable end, and that is the material that will be shown in the gable end wall area. If I alternatively set the display gable option to wall, it will build a fully framed wall up in the gable end wall section. An additional parameter wall type appears that gives me the opportunity to select a wall from the catalog that I want to use for the gable end. Once I select it, I click OK. I click OK again to see the new gable end wall. Let's see it in 3D. Now the gable end wall is finished in the alternative material and we can see the finish. Selecting view, Framing, Display Framing, we can also see that it has been framed as a separate structure as well. Gable end walls can be balloon framed, using a surface if a truss will be used, or it can be a gable end wall. I hope that makes your work easier.